music. Today we have intense bitch to do a cooking video because I'm a cook. Apparently, I mean, I don't have a diploma, but I just know to some stuff. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> mm, I had a rough day, okay. Uh, in th today in my work was a little bit uh, triggering. So it's just uh, another thing. I need music. I need a setup because uh, we will do be doing a cooking video today, so this will be interesting. We are doing today. Uh, we are doing today my recipe. I mean, okay. So here's the deal. <laughs> Currently, I'm working like a barman slash whatever. Um. Just a barman, yeah, that's just barman. But I have a cooking uh, like background and like um, back in Poland, Poland, Poland. <laughs> when I dropped off of college, I uh, pursued my hobby, which uh, my main hobby as a work, which is cooking, that I like learned from my um, grandma. Basically, she kind of passed on to me the cooking skills. I'm recording the, this video like um, the the day before Christmas, bitch, and I will edit it on Christmas because after Christmas I have no time because I w I'm, I have like two con to work contracts and like working from Monday to Sunday all the time, so I don't have off days. Which is, um, it was intentional basically because um, I just like a money bitch, so I can just like, you know, be rich. And I work every day, like five days, about 12 hours, and two days for eight hours. So I'm like, I'm just like working, sleeping, eating watching YouTube and that's basically my life which, for, from the past one month so right now I'm like trying to entertain myself so um, cooking video yes uh, I think it would be a really cool idea to do that because I have like a little bit unique style of cooking um, because and I worked for like uh, half year in Poland as a cook and half year um, uh, in France as a cook and after that I just had many things happening and like uh, I ended up for currently as a barman. I have like a working experience in the, in, uh, the department. Um, I don't really have like a certificate or whatever to like prove it or whatever um, but at the same time I have, so I have some cooking skills but they are a real really like um, not, how to say it, profitable and like not really, um, like, it's not welcomed in the industry or whatever because, uh, I mean, you will see how I cook because I have like a different uh, ideas of that and it's just like, you know, it's a struggle. <laughs> um, but I like, when I was working as a cook, I like loved it. It was the first, uh, aside from like doing the Tesco or whatever, or like the um, bullshit jobs, uh, cooking was the first uh, um, true job for me, like uh, in the restaurant, proper restaurant in the hotel back in Poland and here in a backpacking um, hostel slash restaurant because it was basically like, um, two things uh, at once but uh, yeah in every uh, single place I work as a cook there and there I fucking loved it it was just such a blast to work as a cook but I don't think I would like get back into it because a you don't earn a lot of money by that and it's so much work <laughs> it's so much you can't even re sometimes it's just like overwhelming work because it really depends on the yeah I actually don't know because yeah but I, I mean I'm not a chef and I was a cook 
I was like a, a little chef in Poland, but it doesn't really uh, matter that much, anyways. Um, but yeah, I have I had some cooking experience, and uh, my cooking style is just a little bit different. So I think it would be like a really, really pretty good idea to just start to just like do some cooking videos for you and my um, recipes or whatever currently are sitting on the status of a, like a legendary or whatever because it's just especially my uh, pizza I think it's uh, just um, I don't know if like someone does it or whatever but just like I developed um, some of my recipes that are like um, uniquely to me and probably there are in the internet or whatever but it's just like so interesting to no it's so tasty but it's so healthy at the same time uh, but the, uh, the problem with me is that I don't really fuck with measure measurements and I don't really and I mix a lot of things that are not even like uh, it doesn't even make sense to put it in a dish and I think it would uh, it, I think it's just for me as a like cooking for me is like a magic so basically whatever I cook ends up good for for no for some reason and it's not me being like pride or whatever it's just like some it's, uh, maybe it's like a natural talent or whatever but it's just like fucking insane <laughs> and that's why I love to work as a cook but uh, at the end of the day I had to be like Hi. I had to be like uh, pushed down a little bit in uh, my like um, idea of uh, cooking because it, it is not profitable if you don't uh, fuck with measurements obviously uh, it's not profitable if you don't like follow recipes or whatever because every restaurant have kind of their like uh, recipes if they don't if they are like a chain I think if they are like the independent private restaurant, which I didn't work, I work in two chains, and not chains, but like it's like um, like worldwide companies basically, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I think it's just so fun for me to just like, uh, I think it's it, my cooking developed in experimenting and just like doing some random shit that uh, at the end of the day it just tastes fine. <laughs> and uh, it just makes uh, it so fun to cook basically for me and I kind of miss uh, working in restaurants or whatever but at the same time um, I am like a type of person that I like to cater cater to small group of people um, so like working in a restaurant that's like um, every day it passes like 200 people or whatever and then like doing like uh, catering or like doing the preparation or like whatever it's just so many uh, criteria for that i kind of like lost the i didn't lost anything it's just that uh, this year ha has been so crazy that it just kind of like pushed me back from uh, co co being a cook to just like making money <laughs> And uh, I am like happy with that. Like, uh, wherever it put me, if I like make some fucking coins, like I sign me up. And currently, I'm like doing fantastic. I think it's just like I am like in so good place. It's insane. Um, mentally, uh, financially, like it's so insane. Like. I cannot even like explain right now and like for being like 23 years old and being in the state that I am it's just like at, at sometimes it's insane but uh, at sometimes I just I'm just like yeah that's the that's just what I deserve because I am really hard working person so at the end of the day I managed to find my spot Ideally, yeah. I don't think many people would just like fucking have two two jobs just for no reason at all. <laughs> Currently, I'm just like uh, 
working because I'm working. It's not like I'm working because uh, I need to work. It's just, yeah, it just, basically I like working. I'm like a workaholic, so for me it's just like... And for me I think it's just like easier to work because uh, I have like ticks in my head so it because I'm crazy so at the same time for me working comes naturally because I love money <laughs> it's just how it is <laughs> I got carried away but uh, yeah we are here today to do my favorite favorite dish uh, which is uh, what I call it is a carrot pasta basically it's uh, a mix of uh, various veggies and that are like uh, mainly centered around carrots that are mixed with tomatoes standard and like some bullshit in between <laughs> that's basically what it is and it's um, my favorite thing to, to do because and I, I've, I've not done it in like I think half year it, just, it was so long a long time ago and uh, yeah just like I love that I can like now see myself because now it makes sense if I see myself I know what I'm doing I'm like <laughs> okay but I need to take a shower I need to fucking uh, open beer beer is my in my recipe which that's basically why I love this recipe and uh, yeah, I didn't drink in like half a year because I just drink whenever I'm like doing this fucking recipe. So that's another thing. And why beer is, is in my recipe? I don't fucking know. It doesn't make sense. But it makes for me. Oh yeah. And I'm waiting currently for my um, toes to um, do the sauce because I don't have it as a proper cook that... Um, <laughs> I don't have a big enough pan and I don't have a shredder that I need to do, but whatever, I guess, right? But we can open a beer. Let's do it now. I don't know how to do it because I don't have a bottle opener, which you know, you can tell how good barman I am. So I'm just like using a spoon. In cold, I used to open. Oh my god, <laughs> wait. In college, I used to open beers from the table like this, but um, I'm not trying to sabotage my deposit. But you know, I oh, guess, bitch. Ah! Fuck. Ooh, this brings me back. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Yes. <laughs> Fucking cheers. Mm. It's fine. I put three. I cannot get carried away. <laughs> Be right back, bitch. <laughs> I'm not drinking. First of all, we need to move this bullshit that's here because I have like a whole set of bullshit. Oh, so yeah, and I have workstation. <laughs> this is why I don't drink anymore. <laughs> like what the fuck? No, seriously, I need to go to the shower. <laughs> you know, I'll just fucking take it to the shower. Because um, my alcohol alcoholic senses are <laughs> twenty minutes later. That's why I don't drink anymore. <laughs> Just I guess open another one. Ah, fuck. Oh my god! Come on. I kinda now realize that I just bought three beers, but it won't end, end at like that. <laughs> well, that's basically why I don't drink anymore. 
um, I think I just need to go to the store for like another 10, I guess, something like that, I don't know. Let's finish this one and I will just fucking be right back. I'm just kind of like thinking when I will start. I brought bitch, so surprise, but the beer is more important. 12 seconds later. Okay, bitch. Oh yes, oh yes. Mm -hmm. That's for later. <laughs> no, that's for now. But yeah, I will open it now. Where's my spoon? Mm-hmm. Okay. Give me to me. <coughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, we will never start this fucking cooking. Okay, I'll just fucking go with it because I don't have um, light. <laughs> I don't know why but for some reason I like the horish type of music so it's kind of like you know that horse do <laughs> listen. I don't know why it's just so um, addictive I guess but I guess it just uh, fits me. I mean it doesn't. I feel like I'm becoming again like a virgin or whatever because I like because of this work, I had nothing going on. I'm like, I'm hey, fine. That's why, that's why I don't drink. This is already half empty. Like, what the hell? I have problems. Okay, let's start this. Oh, bitch. Okay. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. Uh, so <laughs> I got my tools. If you don't have tools, you need to uh, find something to do. So here's like an example of what I did in like college. I think it worked out. I mean, it did a job no matter what, so whatever. So the base of my sauce is uh, half carrots, uh, one quarter of, uh, I think, celery and one quarter of, uh, no, that's wrong. Whatever. I'll put like the ingre ingredients in the description order, but it, the ingredients really sh uh, changes for me all, all the time because I use the oh, the fresh veg vegetables, but like um, um, I have like a base, a strict base that needs to be uh, done and uh, cooked, and then I put uh, whatever I have. Um, in uh, like in my uh, fridge or whatever to just like compensate uh, the flavor not compensate but like the add Jesus fuck add the like additional flavor or whatever and it kind of like works out at the end of the day so it doesn't really matter but it's just basically like you have a strict base and you have like the additional um, flavors that kind of like enriches your sauce but it's kind of like um, adding your character to it, I guess. Something like that. But let's start with peeling. I need to peel um, carrots, celery, white carrots. Um, I don't know how it's called in English, so I'll just put the picture of here like that here. Um, I call it white carrots. Let me show you. Here. It's so hard to get it in France. It's insane. Like I said, this is actually the first time I'm doing this sauce with uh, the original ingredient, which was consisted of that, uh, because it's so hard to find it in France. I don't know why. It's called penne with carrot, <laughs> uh, but I don't know why. I, I guess it's just here. It exists the flower of this uh, vegetable, but the root of it, people don't really use it. So I guess that's why it's not here, but I fucking need it. This is the one of the core ingredients I need to have in my sauce, so whatever. And I found it like yesterday or the days, uh, two days uh, before I did it. And I'm, I was so happy that I uh, found it, whatever. 
it's just a fucking vegetable. But so let's start with peeling. I need to peel this. Uh, I put um, all the colors of um, peppers. So I have like uh, yellow pepper. I have onion. Oh yeah, that's the thing. I don't use onion in my recipe. Uh, strictly because I don't really fucking know why it, it, it's everywhere. It, I guess it kind of like adds the flavor or whatever, but for me it doesn't do anything. But I really like the red onion and like an, an idea of red onion in a dish. So I can, I'm doing, I will do like a split half. I will do like half in the meat sauce, no, like in the meat and half in the sauce to give it like an edgy, edgy taste of onion, I guess, something like that. Yeah, red and green and yellow. So I kind of like do the mixed colors to have like uh, different colors in my sauce just for fun the main color in the sauce is carrots carrots and I have this um, I will just wait wait, wait. <laughs> my kitchen is so small I think it's celery I don't really know how it's called um, but it just looks like that it's just like you know a uh, something like uh, like a, a, a ball of white bullshit that's just what it is but yeah like carrots this and the white carrots that's basically three main um, core veggies that are in the sauce and I need to peel it so what the origins of this sauce is basically like um, I really love uh, Italian food, basically, because my uh, parents used to, not parents, my mom and my grandma that taught me basically how to cook, um, she used to work um, in the uh, in Italy. Back when I was little, I, I think I had like eight years or whatever, something like that, I don't even remember. Yeah. So basically when I was little, uh, every vacation I used to go to Italy and to have a vacation <laughs> and I really like kind of like get used to the French, uh, the Italian cuisine uh, because like Italian love pasta and stuff like that they re uh, I remember um, I used to eat like the fresh, not fresh but like thin packed um, sauces I don't know if it's uh, still a thing or the other, but there were so many uh, large selection of it, and I was uh, every time I was like selecting the flavors, I, I really kind of like fell in love with the idea of pasta overall. That is a, like a really versatile dish um, that you can like could like shit on or like do whatever, and still it works out for. <laughs> For some reason, maybe it's just in my case, but it's just that you can do so many, so many things with uh, pasta, and that's that's the tea, bitch. Um, but my recipe kind of like developed, yeah, it's kind of like mixed. Um, it's kind of like I had an experience with that tin cans, and um, I kind of fell in love with experimenting just like the company was doing that it's really hard to explain like it's uh, uh, you have a base of the recipe but you kind of like sh uh, switch the additional recipes basically based on uh, the environment you are serving or something like that so for example for a family or somewhere you're serving something like casual or like uh, something familiar like you know um, for example for Christmas you're like doing the Christmas uh, ingredients or whatever you could like do the uh, like the leftovers from the um, dining table or, or whatever I don't know <laughs> it's a really versatile dish so it's kind of like you know whatever so basically what I'm doing now is that I'm pinning I'm peeling everything, celery, carrots, white carrots, um, to after that shred it manually. Uh, because I don't have 
have a machine, even though I have fucking money, I don't invest in this kind of bullshit because my kitchen is uh, just, oh Jesus fuck, just too small. That's an excuse. <laughs> so I don't really need to cook for, my, for, my, for myself, so yeah. Um, but for me it's just like really fun. If I'm doing that for myself, that's fine, but if I'm doing that for like the other people, for like a party or whatever, it's so fun. For me, the idea of uh, cooking for some someone else or like for a s kind of like a small group of people, for me, it's really fulfilling. Like uh, if I can satisfy someone uh, uh, in various uh, uh, meanings of that word. For me, that's fulfillment, and um, I don't know why. It's kind of like strange in a way, but um, if I if I can make someone happy, I guess that's just everything that needs to be done in on my part. Oh, I did something. Um, okay, next peer bitch. Mmm! Where is the celery? Oh, it's here. Okay. Let's try the pillar because I, I don't... I did, I've never tried it with a pillar. Okay, that works, kinda. It's like a fucking... <laughs> a mission possible, bitch. Here, let me lower this for you. <laughs> okay. Currently, um, I'm like... I don't know, it's kind of like I need to like set up my um, goals, like life goals and you, because uh, I made myself a financial, fo financial secure enough. It, for me it's a really strange, strange thing because I used to be on a budget on all the time, but ever since I moved to France, I mean, I I had some ups and downs, but at the same time, I uh, have a really good skills of uh, getting back up from any uh, any problem. So I just kind of like lack of purpose, but at this, but it's not like I'm like um, pointlessly doing everything I do now. Which is nothing, I'm <laughs> just working. Uh, but I, I, I mean, in matters of like uh, moms or whatever, I'll become like a rich status. But at the same time, what fucking comes with that? I'm really happy with that. So I don't really, I don't know. To be honest, these days uh, my life is all about like playing bullshit on my phone, watching YouTube and like following the drag race and like the drag queens or whatever and and working and sleeping and that's kind of like my life and I don't know how to like really get out of it really it's really complex for me at least let's move on so somehow I managed to oh! Feel everything. I'm like fucking. What the hell is happening here? Like, <sighs> the next step is um, shredding everything. Yeah, no, no, no. I need to cut uh, the the peppers. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, you're cutting the sides, separating the seeds from the. Um, body or whatever. It's a mess at this point, so whatever. The whole point of it is just that you need to um, prepare everything in between and the real fun starts uh, after. Fun fact, I couldn't cut like that, like the Gordon Ramsay style, because uh, in the real restaurant it's really inefficient to waste um, any kind of excess that people uh, that you can use for dishes 
So even though it's like aesthetically um, looking good, um, most of the restaurants don't look into it because it's a waste of money. You know, money is everything in this industry. Kind of. You know how to peel an onion, cut an onion, slice, um, dice. <laughs> I still don't, <laughs> for some reason, I'm still struggling with that. Wait, there's a... Right. Oh. Ah. You don't see anything, bitch. So, I think we are on a good start to have everything peeled off. But it's a fucking mess here, like it's insane. Maybe drinking and cooking is not for me, but at the same time, it is needed for this fucking recipe, but I got carried away. <laughs> I guess I'll see you tomorrow. I hope so, at least. Whatever. <laughs>